Hey everyone, just wanted to show a new finding on my part. I uh, was in, unable to find a lot of information on these. I've always wanted a wagon, but um, one kind of fell into my lap here, and uh, I couldn't say no. So this here is a 1972 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser. And I purchased it from a, a woman who has owned it since 1978 in Northwest Wyoming. I'm in Southeast Idaho. And um, it's in pretty good shape overall. I mean, minor rust, interior is, is pretty torn up. But um, I just wanted to do a little bit of a walk around because I was trying to find some information on these and I couldn't find a whole lot. So um, I'm hoping this may be beneficial to some folks. Um, it's a Pinehurst Green. It has the 455 Rocket V8. I'll do a quick little walk around show some of its flaws and it's a great looking wagon she said they had it painted once in the late 80s down here in Idaho Falls and it was used as a commuter car from, they used it from South Carolina to Jackson Hole. And it's been in storage for quite a while since then and she has since lost her storage unit. And this was outside over the winter. I can kind of show you some of the little bit of flaws, but looks like someone probably tried to pull it out of a snowbank if I had to have a guess. Um, I got it and brakes didn't work pedal was sticking to the floor I replaced the brake booster and the master and the brakes are good now I've put some new white wall tires on it and done some basic stuff changed the fuel filter um, obviously oil lube and filter um, just minor it didn't need all that much and man it does it it drives really beautifully um, front bench is completely torn up so I got a, a seat cover over it for now it's got AC it's converted to 134 at one point but it leaks so it blows cold for a little while and until it doesn't it's, odometer shows 20,000 223 on it but that's got to be 120 at least it does have eight track uh, eight track and radio work but the speakers are blown out and obviously, this is the big hoo-ha for this 71 to 76 GM era, the clamshell design. Unfortunately, it does not work. Neither the switches up here or the key in the rear works. There's no power or anything. I'm assuming it's a, a circuit breaker. I haven't had time to dive into it a whole lot. But the, the clock is in working order. Power locks, power windows. I'll probably go through and grease those up. Um... But it's in, it's in pretty good shape. Carpet is all torn up. Um, definitely need to get a carpet kit in this thing. The door seals are old and brittle, so they leak. Um, so I've got to get those changed out. So here's the rear bench. And then it's got the front facing third row. For an additional two. So here's your clamshell. So there's definitely some body work here at some point. Some old Bondo there. I think these were kind of the weak spots. You know, I don't think there's probably any way for the water to get out of these things, so it probably just pools up back there. You know, it looks like yeah, there's some sort of homemade silicone or you know, silicone fix. 
And then while it uh, was outside this past winter, we had a crazy winter, so um, the snow load on this thing busted that, and it started pulling these up, and it's a pain to get up through here. I tried to get a nut on it, but I don't plan on driving this in any bad weather. I don't really know what my plans are for this thing yet. I'll probably fix her up a little bit and maybe maybe list her for sale next summer after a retour Yellowstone and the Tetons in it or something, but man, it drives great. It's one of those, I mean, it's a lot of the classics. The more you drive them, the happier they are. And this thing's just, it's, it's pretty smooth overall. So I went through, I shampooed the carpets the best I could. It's a major cleaning out. She was basically using it as a storage unit. Get a look under the hood for you guys. These short track tires sure are nice. And they were like 88 bucks a pop or something. That was a really reasonable. So the 455 Rocket V8. It's the new booster and master there. I gotta get a new air cleaner decal for that puppy. But uh, let me fire her up. When I first got it, it idled pretty smooth and at low speeds it was really, really smooth. At high speeds it just fell flat in its face and uh, pulled the fuel filter out of that thing and there must have been, there was all sorts of rust and crud in there, so. Once I got a $6 fuel filter in there, man, she's happy. So uh, I don't know much about these. If anyone's got any comments or anything like that or what to look out for, I mean, aside from obviously this is a pretty good survivor. It's a really good example. Um, I'd like to get that rear clam working and uh, recover the seats. And I mean, the carpet kit was cheap enough where I'd probably just throw that in there. Um, I definitely got to seal up and fix the roof rack, but uh, time is kind of short here. I've got ended up buying a 78 Lincoln Continental after I was looking for a wagon for so long. They were so dang expensive. And, uh, but I had to add this one to the, to the yacht club. I couldn't pass it up. They added the auxiliary block heater here. Probably put some new door strikers on there when I get the new door seal, so it's you get that nice seat belts are fried. Oh man, she sure is pretty. Getting late in the season now, but I'd like to get that AC working and whatever. Something's leaking there. Hopefully it's just an O-ring or something. Get 
get that fixed and then topped off. Uh, I had to fix the neutral safety switch. The reverse lights were always on in this thing. And so, so just some minor stuff. Mainly that rear clamshell I'd like to get going again. Haven't decided on the plate yet. missing some of the black trim pieces. I've got them in the trunk there. I just got to find the, the new snaps to put them on. I'd like to find something to buff out that wood grain. I was reading uh, transmission fluids actually pretty decent, which I wouldn't be surprised. And then of course you've got the which in 1972 was utility. Let me put this down. Well, I should probably fold this one first here, huh? So that folds in like this. So you can see the carpet's in pretty poor shape even after I did the, the shampooing. She had a whole bunch of stuff back here, charcoal. A couple mice, the usual. Put that there and then boom, that locks into place. All right. Still got the jump seat. Obviously the ashtray for the kids. She was telling me she was putting a lead substitute in here when she filled it up. Um, I don't know where she was getting it, but she gave me... It looks like it was probably from... Let me see the seatbelt should probably be replaced at some point. from party to business in the back just like that Anyways, what should I do with it? Uh, any, anything to look out for, anything I should do. I definitely want to keep it for a while. Um, it's been a bucket list car of mine for sure. These old wagons. Originally I was looking for a Mercury Colony Park and you know, I settled on the four-door Lincoln Continental. And then uh, this came along. I mean, it's, a, it's a, just such a unique looking vehicle. It's, it's cool and it's got the 455 rocket pre-emissions I mean it it's torquey as hell ah shoot let's, let's take her for a little spin so clean these up a little bit switches gas tank still works my brake lights still on I, I imagine it's probably the rear linings or something that need to be adjusted that just haven't gotten to yet there's your
and heated storage for the winter. derbies and the, the beatings they took with with families the way they were designed with kids and everything um, I know it's pretty pretty tough to find these in pretty decent shape that and they just tended to rot out in the rust belt or the, the northeast Not the most fuel efficient, it's about 10. I averaged it out the last tank. 10 with ethanol free and I put some of the Berryman's chem tool through there, carb injector cleaner, um, which I always like to do with the older stuff every, every couple tanks. to bore you guys but any questions or comments or information I'm not an expert by any means I just like to have fun with these things um, I know enough to get myself into trouble, that's about it. I don't need her to be a show car or a full on restoration, I just, I just like to drive them. Alright guys, well thanks for watching.